So with Santa's sleigh, we looked at a movie with a silly killer, but it didn't take itself very seriously. So let's look at a movie with a silly killer that does take itself seriously. And the ludicrousness knows no bounds with Night of the Lepus. Lepus, idiot. I guess Night of the Bunny Rabbits was the second title choice. So I can get even more wacky than a news report about the real-life dangers of animal overpopulation, like with rabbits in Australia. This film, which our researchers have gathered together, was shot in Australia in 1954, where a plague of rabbits has been, and still is, a threat. Rabbits so numerous that they threaten man's existence by devouring his crops, killing animals, and destroying property. Man, this is the best way to open a film ever! Welcome to a special report. Bad movies continue to be released rapidly. If this trend of garbage films continues on its current pace, there won't be enough internet reviewers to make fun of them. These are sad, sad times. Uh, maybe not. Well, the news report suddenly gets cut off by the title screen. Are you scared yet? Oh, you will be. You will. Well, probably not, but this horse seems to think they're scary enough. Now it's personal, you bastard bunnies! So Cole here goes and talks to some guy with a mustache, who I have no idea who he is, and I won't be making any references about anything else he's done. I haven't heard a coyote yapping around there for over a year. Now that's terrific news for the rabbits. Well, look, I got a thought. There's a young couple here from the East on an exchange program. The name's Bennett, and they're looking for new ways to control insects without killing everything else at the same time. So Mustache McCoy beams over to his pal Roy to see if he can do anything to help with the bunny situation without having to use poison. We better take a run up there this weekend. I'd rather you did it today. Guess what the forest says goes, and Roy has to get going immediately. Might be another way to whip this problem, Cole. How? Hormones. Which would interrupt their breeding cycle. Here's something I know they've never been exposed to before. Dr. Dirksen from the Public Health Department sent it over this morning. Would you give me a clean rabbit? Oh, yeah. I wish I knew what the effects of this serum would be. Let's hope it works. Ooh, this is pretty scientific. We'll use the serum with the unknown effects. Yeah, that will probably work wonders. I am a doctor, not a scientist. If we could affect the blood of 50 rabbits, it wouldn't take long for this change to take place in the entire population. Yeah, that's great if you had an idea of what it'd do. And to make this matter worse, his little brat kid switches the rabbit they just injected with the normal one. Proving what a great idea it is to have little kids around while you conduct weird experiments. They're also quite good at not noticing a thing she is doing until the deed is done. He said I could have one. One from the control group? Well, all right. That's what you think! You get him out of here, I won't be your friend. I won't do it! Those darn rabbits killed my chickens. Yeah, so letting a rabbit back into the wild will sure help. I'm sorry, Amanda. Don't tell my mommy you ran away. Okay. You can say I'm keeping it for you. Come on. Okay. Wow, that was like one of the quickest arguments ever, especially for kids. And she did all that work to trick her dad so she get that specific rabbit, and it runs away, and oh, she doesn't care. So since he didn't get immediate results, Cole decides to just burn parts of his land, hoping to starve out the rest of the rabbits. Wow, wasn't getting Roy to do those experiments sure worth it. And after their fight about the rabbit, these kids are best friends, I guess. You go into the tunnel, see if you can find him. I'm gonna look around out here. Well, as a 
amazing as that acting is, I'm just wondering right now, what's DeForest up to? I just saw a large rabbit. That's pretty good, Bones. All right, I got one for you. The rabbit was followed by a little blonde girl, right? As a matter of fact, yes. Doctor? Uh, She'll be all right. What do you know? You're not McCoy. Daddy! 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 Yes, that's really helpful, kid. Keep yelling for Daddy. Don't tell them about the giant rabbit or anything. What kind of a track is that? I saw what I saw, or maybe I hallucinated it. Besides that inference, depth of it, I'd say it was weighed maybe 100, 150 pounds. Could it be a mountain lion? Could it be a rabbit? Well, it could be. Meanwhile, this truck driver stops his truck to see if his cargo ran away, I guess, when... <laughs> Again. <laughs> <laughs> <Priceless>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a truck with all its cargo dumped out. <laughs> Wait a second. No any good rabbit jokes lately? As a matter of fact, I do. This is not one of them. Look at this. He's dead, Jim. Sir, are you all right? Well, now, what's your urgent? Well, I didn't want to ruin the surprise. Well, looks like we got another one on our hands. So the police scientist finds saliva on the victim, so they obviously conclude... So, what have we got here? Vampires? Possibly. I love the way he just straightly answers that. Vampires? Possibly. Wouldn't be any sillier than giant rabbits. I'm at the picnic grounds three miles east of the Hillman Ranch. I've never seen anything like this before. There's a family of four here. A man, a woman, and two children horribly mutilated. I'm standing by until the coroner arrives. And all the wounds were made with pinpoint accuracy, almost like the killers had extremely good eyesight. Could be something they eat. Vampires. Doctor. Rabbits as big and as ferocious as wolves? I see them all the time. Naturally, I'd like to believe they don't exist. Unfortunately, they do. It's conceivable that we could have created the seeds for a mutated species. Man, who would have thought using serums we haven't labeled or barely know anything about could have had negative side effects? What about Sheriff Cody? Shouldn't we bring him along? I don't agree, Jerry. I don't think so. Can you imagine the kind of sensational publicity that would bring down on the university if it became generally known? I don't think we should tell anybody until we know what the score is. I think you're right. Now you'd think this might be one of those critical plot points that ends up you know, screwing over the main characters, but not notifying the police here doesn't do a thing. So they go down to the mine for a showdown with the boss bunny. Elton, why don't you and Frank get half the dynamite and take a look up above? See if there are any other holes. I'm a doctor, not a coal miner. Dr. McCoy's rabbit, sir. He must have gone through here. Hello, Jerry. Jerry, Elton in here. Yes, Elton, what'd you find? There are three holes here. I'm a doctor, not a bricklayer. So, instead of blowing up the mine right away... Whatever's back in there is a mystery. If we cave it in, we'll never know. I'm gonna try to pull one of them out, so I can analyze its blood and check its cells. If I can't do that, at least I'll take a picture of it. What could possibly go wrong with this great idea? They seem to be moving away from us. Well, that's what you'd normally expect from a rabbit. I guess these others were just thirsting for human blood and have finally got the means. There! What, behind the rabbit? It is the rabbit! You silly sod! What? You guys all worked up! Well, that's no ordinary rabbit! They're as big as wolves. Anyway, they take some pictures of these ridiculous rabbits and stir them up, which, oddly enough, causes them to get chased. You might say they made them hopping mad, but you probably wouldn't say that, because that'd be dumb. 
See, you know, I knew I should have made a left turn in Albuquerque. That rabbit's got a vicious street a mile wide. It's a killer. I warned you, but did you listen to me? Oh, no, you knew it all, didn't you? Oh, it's just a harmless little bunny, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think I have it in me to care about it this time. And you shouldn't. Should have been animality, though, you idiot. Damn it. Of course you realize this means war. Jack, Jack, now calm down. Calm down, he's gone. Rabbit's gone. Don't worry, the rabbit's gone. I think that sums this movie up right there. Where else are you going to get a serious consoling over a bunny? I don't think the rabbit actually touched this guy, though. It looks more like it just spat up blood on him. Then the bunnies go boom! They decide to tell the police right after this. I told you it wouldn't amount to anything. But as for the rabbits, check this out. <laughs> the rabbits are chasing horses now. Despite the fact that these rabbits seem to hop in slow motion, they catch up to the horses and attack and roar. <laughs> then the guy who got attacked earlier takes off in the truck alone, sees rabbits on the road instead of trying to run any of them down. He turns right back, crashes into the telephone pole just as they are trying to make a call. Yeah, sure was lucky he survived his bunny attack, huh? And he dies! Ah! Well, if I died like that, I'd want it on my grave. Died of fatal bunny wounds. Aw, <laughs> you're shooting the poor bunnies! And they seem to have a lot of tomato juice in them or something. Turn off that light! The rabbits are everywhere. Soon the bunnies shall inherit the earth. A select lucky few may be made care collectors for our bunny overseers. Anyway, Roy sends his family away from the killer rabbits, and something bothers me a little here. We never see Amanda once scold Frito switching out the served up rabbit then letting it get loose. Guess it's not that big of a deal. Your frantic call wouldn't have anything to do with rabbits, would it? How did you know? They tell me that's what killed Captain Billy and that truck driver. Wow, the sheriff here sure rolls with the punches. I think that'd be a kind of have-to-see-it-to-believe-it kind of deal. Cole weighs his rifle around in the air to try and get a ride, and oddly enough, that doesn't work. He then checks in with the general store and sees they're carrying less variety than usual. And people inside have spilt red paint on themselves. Or the rabbits got them, which sounds sillier. They've gone. Must be holed up somewhere else. Follow the rabbit. I'll backtrack the girl. I'll meet you around the other side of the hill. Good. I got a personal grudge against that rabbit, Jim. Cole lets the others know where the rabbits are, and they devise a plan where they'll electrify the tracks and make some roasted rabbits. Tonight I dine on bunny stew. It's that blasted rabbit again. That's it. Blame your defeat on a cute, furry, little bunny. <laughs> Laugh if you want to, Krang. But one day, I'll have my rabbit revenge. Luckily, the police are able to find the most cooperative bunch of people ever at this drive-in and get them to form a barricade along the electrified track. Unfortunately for them, though, the little brat and her mom got stuck, and sensing their prey's helplessness, the bunnies attack! Well, I gotta love this movie for letting me say things like that. 
I also love the serious music cues this movie gives the rabbits. a bunny would put the bite on you, you little brat. Mommy. Yes, I'm sure that's really helpful, constant yelling of mommy. Don't try to be actually useful, and if you see one coming from a certain direction to warn her, just keep yelling, mommy, mommy, mommy. Daddy, daddy. Shut up, we're leaving you here for causing this whole thing. <laughs> just look at them all being so serious about the stupid rabbits. <laughs> That's a lot of dead rabbits. Oh, that's not funny at all. Um, oh, I got it. Looks like they hopped to the wrong side of the tracks. No. Um, oh, I got it. Who wants a roasted bunny sandwich? No. Jerry, Elgin, how's everything been at the ranch these last few months? Well, it set me back a few years, but at least there's a new pack of coyotes happening somewhere up in the hills, and my boy said he saw a deer and a fox. Oh, great. Say, why don't you and your wife come out to the ranch some weekend? We'd like that. Good. We really would. Of course, you sent a bunch of mutant bunny rabbits over my land, which killed a bunch of people. Let's be best friends now. Of course, it wasn't all his fault. It was also his daughter's. I do find it kind of funny, though, that not once do they ever play the blame game. But to end off the movie, we see... <gasps> so yeah, this movie is absolutely ridiculous, and I think you should definitely watch it if you ever see it around because of it. Giant rabbits. Of all the silly, silly things... Yeah, man.